my name is Deborah Houghton and I'm a CSU public student intern and I'm excited to share this fun activity about telling time with you. The standard is going to be third grade and it is going to be having the students tell time on an analog clock. So we are going to start off by cutting out our printout. I have already done so, so I have our clock and I have our two hands. And I remember that our shorthand is our hour hand, or it's going to tell us what the hour is. And our long hand is going to be our minute hand. And that's going to tell us how many minutes has been in our hour. So we're going to start off by cutting those out and placing them to the side. We're going to grab our dice. We're going to grab two dice. So when we first start out, we're going to roll one dice first. We're going to roll one dice, and I got a six. And I know that I'm going to put my first hand, or short hand, on our six to tell what hour it is. So I have, it is six o'clock, but how many minutes is it? This is where I'm going to grab two dice, and I'm going to roll them. And I got six again. So we're going to place our long hand on our six. Remember that just because our long hand on our six doesn't mean that it is six. 606. Oh, they slipped a little. Because we count up by fives on our clock. So I know that this is one is five minutes, 10 minutes, 15, 20, 25, and 30 minutes. So I know that it's six o'clock, and 30 minutes past six o'clock is going to equal. 6.30. So on our first rolls, I'm going to write our time. We're going to write 6 using our the correct notation. I'm going to write 6.30. I'm going to label that as our first round. Then on our second round, we're going to roll one dice again. I got 3. So I'm going to place our shorthand on the 3. I'm going to roll again for two dice, and I have seven, so our long hand is going to be on the seven. All right, so I have our time as three and our long hand on seven. So I know it's three o'clock because our long hand, our short hand is going to three. But then since I know that I've already done 30, that I just count five more, right? And there's these little notches on here that help us out with that. So I can always count 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35. So that means our time is now 335. So we're going to write that down. All right, and then so I have one and I have our trial two. And then we're going to create trial three. And so I wrote down here. And with that one, we're going to start moving up to different times. So we're going to roll two dice the first time. So I have six. And we're going to roll again because we've already done a six o'clock one. We rolled six again. So I'm going to try it one more time. Okay. And this is where I have eight o'clock. So I'm going to put my short hand or hour hand on the 8 o'clock because that's what we're rolling for first. And I'm going to roll both dice again. And I got 11. So I'm going to place this on the 11. So our short hand's on our 8. And our long hand is on our 11. So when I know that it's going to be 8 o'clock, so I can write 8 o'clock first. Just so that way we can keep track. And then and then 11. Now it might be easier to remember that at 12 is 60 minutes. One whole hour, which is on our clock, is going to equal 60 minutes. So you can always count 5 backwards from 60 and go 59, 58, 57, 56, 55. So we know that it's 8. 55, or you can count all the way up from 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Okay, and then we're going to do our second trial, or our fourth trial. And this time we're going to roll two dice to begin with. So I got a 7. We're only going to roll one dice this time. And I got 1. 
So we're going to put our long and our short hand on. And this is what we got. So our short hand's on seven and our long hand's on one. So I know that it's going to be seven. And then I have one, two, three, four, five. So seven and five minutes. But do I, how would I write that? So I'm not going to just write seven and then write a five next to it like this. Because that would create a ratio and not the time. So we're going to cross that out. We're going to write seven and we're going to put O five, and then we're gonna do that for all of our numbers all the way up to seven o nine or one o nine, something like that. All right, and then you're gonna keep doing this for a while. You can roll two dice the first time, and we got six. And then I am going to roll again, and I got seven. So I'm gonna put our hands down. And I see that I've created 635. And once we get comfortable doing that, we can take away our clock. So we're not going to use our clock anymore. We're just going to roll the dice. And I got 7. So, all right, 6. And I'm actually going to draw a clock on our paper. So 6. So I have our clock here. And I'm going to label the times. 12 and 6. And three and nine. And this is an easy way to remember. So you're going to start off with your four points. Twelve, six, nine, and three. It might be backwards on the screen. And you're right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And I'm going to get a different colored marker really quick. So I will be right back. Alright, so I have a different color marker and we're going to roll the first dice and I got an 8. So I'm going to put our short hand on our 8. Then I'm going to roll again. And I got a 9. I'm going to put our long hand on our 9. And then I'm going to tell what time that is. So I know that's going to be 8. 45. And this is what we should get. And then you're going to do this a couple of times. So I got a five. I'm going to get a new piece of paper. I'm going to draw a couple of clocks on here. All right, and I've drawn our clock, so then we're going to roll one dice this time. And I got a one, so our shorthand is going to be on the one. And I'm going to roll again, and I got a three. I'm only rolling one dice right now. And I know that that's going to equal 115. And because our first number is before, we don't have to put a zero in the front. And then, if you guys needed a little help on our long hand, you can always write in that 1 is going to equal 0. 5 minutes is going to equal 10 minutes. 3 is 15. 4 is 20. It's 25, 30. This is what it looks like. So that way when we're telling time, I can roll both dice and I have an 8. So I put the shorthand to 8. And I rolled a 7, and I put the long hand to 7. So I know that it's going to be 8, 35, because I have written the 35 on my paper. Alright, thank you for joining me on this activity.